Ron L. Nolan, President, CEO, Health Agents for America, coming to you live this Monday. Now is not the time to panic. However, I did yesterday. I got a slight heads up prior to the speech by Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards about our stay home policy starting today at five o'clock. I knew that our shelves were already empty at the grocery store and I knew as soon as that word got out that folks were gonna start to panic. So I immediately ran to the grocery store and of course, all the shelves are already bare, but what I wanted most, and um, you can only imagine, was uh, dog food. So I was able to get um, a bag of dog food and a couple of cans of dog food to last for a while until the grocery stores are able to continue to replenish their uh, shelves. The governors, of course, said that grocery stores, pharmacies, um, folk, essential folks will still be open, but regardless if they're open, it's whether they have anything on their shelves. I do not have the most accurate up-to-date uh, states on who are requiring you to work from home. Um, Hoffa just asks you to adhere to the social distancing, stay away from the elderly and those with compromised immune systems. Uh, one of my study group partners said it the best, you know, it might not be us, but it could be us bringing it to our loved ones. And that's why it's important that we remain away from those that could be affected. We know how to adapt. You can work from home. You can forward your phones. You can service your clients. We are tough and we are mighty and we are the Hoffa tribe. As I reported Friday, the Blue Cross Association asked the president for a special enrollment period due to the virus. At least nine of the state exchanges have already implemented the SEP. I received calls from a few of you who said I was on a CMS call and CMS said, we're absolutely not having an SEP. And as I always tell you, Hoffa sometimes has our finger on the pulse. Sometimes I'm not sure how I do, but sometimes I just do. And this very well could happen. So those that sell in the individual market, be prepared. Um, the president has the last word, not CMS. Um, so this could change in a matter of moments. We should hear more at the agent broker roundtable on Wednesday. So remember, you heard it first at Hoffa. If you're a Hoffa member, you're there. If you're not a Hoffa member or you know folks that are not Hoffa members, share the fact they need to be a part of our tribe. We're doing the right things. We're finding out things that we need to know prior to what other people might know. Hoffa sends out our love to one of our members who lost her uncle because of the virus, several with cancer, one who, one at least, one that we know of that went under uh, heart surgery last week. Also a shout out to U.S. Senator Rand Paul, Georgia's Senator Brandon Beach, U.S. Congressman uh, Bla Blayart, from, Blayart from Florida, U.S. Representative uh, McAdams from Utah, Louisiana Department of uh, Transportation Secretary Sean Wilson, the Saints football coach Sean Payton, and the list goes on and on for those that were affected by the virus. And not to mention all the people throughout the United States and the world. Hoffa will be participating in the CMS Agent and Broker Roundtable on Wednesday. And here are a few of my concerns, and I'd like to know if you have others. Number one, Health Sherpa. The fact that there's a conflict of interest, um, Health Sherpa is an enrollment platform approved by CMS and also a general agency, which means they are our competition. They have access to all our clients. In addition, some insurance companies are requiring agents to sell through Health Sherpa in order to get paid. Health Sherpa receives an override on all business sold. 
What I've said to CMS is that you've given them the golden key to the kingdom. And I question the uh, conflict of interest. The second thing that was on my list was the fact that if one of your clients calls the marketplace, there's a question that goes somewhat like, did someone help you with this application? Most clients do not know it's an application. Most clients do not know what they're talking about. Um, and they might say not, no, not knowing that they were asking, do you have an agent? Do you trust your agent? Do you believe in your agent? Which they absolutely do. The marketplace then removes the NPN. Hoffa's stance is that that language should not be included in any thing that is said by a marketplace rep, that that should be taken out of the script and should not be asked at all. The only people that can change an agent of record is the client, not a marketplace rep asking a very questionable question um, on whether that person received help with what they were doing. Some say, well, you're helping me right now. Okay, good enough answer. I'm removing your agent. Not good enough for the Hoffa industry. Also, there is seems to be some problems making changes through some of the Blue Cross associations, specifically Louisiana and Alaska. We're working with them and healthcare.gov to find out how we can remedy making changes of addresses and things like that that actually get done in a timely manner. We're also once again addressing the commission issue and the special enrollment period issue. The fact that insurance companies receive tax credits, tax subsidies, they receive um, premiums, yet they don't want to pay the people that brought the business to them. We shouldn't have to pass a law on every state to ensure insurance companies do what they should do. CMS should make sure that this happens, that they're not allowed to circumvent the system and only pay for the business that they want to pay for, but ensure that we do the job that we continue to do, and in most cases for free. What's very concerning is number five, and that is the ongoing education provided to the navigators regarding group insurance. If you receive their newsletters, you'll see they're still getting webinars and information talking about group insurance, how to talk to groups about insurance. They are not educated, they're not licensed, they're not insured. They should not be selling group insurance. They not, should not be selling individual insurance. I don't care if you call it um, enrolling or selling, it's selling. Enrolling is just semantics and it's ridiculous especially with the implementation of the ICRA. Um, that is another webinar that's being provided to the uh, navigators. We absolutely do not need navigators and the federal government out in the industry sharing information that in most probable cause is incorrect. Um, we can only hope that the funds for navigators continue to be reduced um, I've said it before, Hoffa is a member of the uh, BFCF, which is a group that fights against the federal government taking business from private industry, which is exactly what the navigators do. So that is something that we will decide, discuss on Wednesday with the agent and broker uh, community. I know you're feeling anxious. Uh, some of you have never worked from home. I can only tell you uh, a little bit of advice to set up a schedule to work as you always work, work the same time, um, try to close yourself in one area so it's not easy to see a TV or something that needs to be cleaned. And then when you finish working at that time, 5, 5.30, whatever, however you end your day, you close that area too because it's easy to look in there and say, I could be working 24-7. It's a hard change to make, but I know that you can do it. And I am praying for um, a vaccine, for something to happen, that we can take care of this virus and we can all get back to work um, status quo. If you're wanting to do something and you just feel like, 
I, I just need to do something. You can give blood. I gave blood on Saturday. They, uh, very cautious, wiped everything down. I mean, it was very sterile, but they're, it, they are in need of blood. They also are, are in need of a surgical mask. So you might have seen on Facebook, there's some YouTube videos, those that know how to sew. I am definitely not a sewer, but if somebody wants to sew, I'm happy to buy you some fabric. Um, but make some surgical masks for your local um, hospitals and, and especially your um, nursing homes. My cousin is an administrator at one of the nursing homes and stayed up all night long making sure that everybody had one that she had made. So you can't, you don't think about how far that list could go, but it's your nurses, it's, you know, those in the healthcare field and then those elderly and infirmed that could use those masks. They look very simple to make. Um, if you'd like me to send you the YouTube video, I'm happy to do that. Um, and if you want me to send you some fabric. I'm happy to do that too. So get ready for that possible SCP. Could be a national SCP coming as early as uh, April 1st. A big shout out to those birthdays in March and April that are going to have to settle in place like me. I've already um, kind of had a little bit of a meltdown about it, but I'll be just fine uh, celebrating with Faith and Scylla. Um, but remember that if you need me, I'm here. I'm sending you lots of love. Um, I, I've even had to unload my suitcase because I don't think I'll be traveling for a while. But until next time, Ronnell Nolan, President CEO for Hoffa, fighting for you. Stay safe. Take care. Lots of love.